What is up nerds? It is Reptil DIY here again and today we are going to be upcycling some secondhand thrift store leather purses and turning them into some heavy metal bracers. So let's get this shit started. Alright guys, I know you could buy these bracers online, but they go for a bit of money. I'm going to show you how to make your own pair from upcycled material that's going to cost you a fraction of the price. So let's talk about supplies. The main supply you're going to need is some secondhand leather. I source my secondhand leather from thrift stores. Specifically, I look for leather purses, leather luggage, or anything that's leather that you can cut up. Preferably, I look for real leather. Alternatively, you can get PVC or fake leather, if that is your thing. You're also gonna need some craft foam with an adhesive backing, as well as some felt with an adhesive backing. You'll also need some rivets, and you're gonna need a way to set your rivets, which I'll talk about later. A leather punch, a pair of leather cutting scissors, some scrap leather belts, which I get at the thrift store, some buckles, and you'll also need any of the hardware that you're gonna put on your bracers, whether that's studs, spikes, O-rings or maybe even nails. So the first step is to draw what you want your bracers to look like. Then you're going to make a paper pattern. You can find patterns online for cosplay, for leather work, whatever. I just want off my patterns and make them fit to my arm. Then we're going to disassemble our leather purse. Pretty much we're going to gut it, cut it in half, and just get all the flat pieces of leather that we're going to use. One thing to keep in mind when you're sourcing your secondhand leather, try to find leather that is somewhat thick. Even if it's not that thick, we are still going to be using our crafting foam and our felt to give our leather a little bit more beef. And also remember that when you're gutting apart your leather purses or whatever you're cutting apart, luggage or whatever, you can save any of the inserts, the zippers, the straps, and use those for future projects. These things are a gold mine for material. So now that our leather is cut out and all flat, you're going to take our pattern and set it on top and just trace it out. So with my patterns, I like to add half an inch, especially on this first layer of leather. You can see I kind of uh, drew it out. It just gives you a little bit of fold over material. Next up, we're gonna take our pattern, lay it on our crafting foam and cut out that crafting foam. Just like that, we have our crafting foam. It's gonna sit in the middle and then essentially we're gonna take half inch of our leather and we're gonna wrap it over. And then we're gonna set it with our adhesive felt fabric over here. Now what you can see I cut out the adhesive felt fabric, it's already, I even put some relief cuts in that extra half inch of my leather, and then we, as you can see I'm just going to fold it right over, I'm going to set everything with the adhesive felt, and make sure it's all good and ready to go. So essentially it's just going to be a sandwich, we have leather on one side, our foam in the middle, we're going to fold our leather edges over, and then we're going to put our adhesive felt over those edges and it's going to make it like a nice tight little sandwich. Now guys, the reason I use the foam and the felt and the leather all together is we want these bracers to be thick like if they were a solid piece of leather. Next up, we're going to take a paint marker, a pencil, whatever you got. We're going to draw some dots on it and these dots are where we're going to put our rivets. So we take our leather punch, we punch our holes and then we start setting our rivets, guys. Now setting rivets is pretty easy. First they snap on and you just push them through and they just snap right on but then you actually have to set them. My rivet setter came with a rivet setting tool. And as you can see, I'm using a hammer with a rivet setting tool. You can use pliers. You can even use a bench vise to set your rivets just like this. But here we go, guys. We have our rivets all set. Next up, we are gonna reference our picture that we drew in the beginning. And then we are going to set our O-rings. This is gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna take our scrap piece of leather belt and cut it in half. We are going to rivet it onto each side of our O-rings. Super easy. So now that we have our leather straps riveted to both O-rings. We're going to set it to our actual bracer. Now guys, I'm gonna be using these O-rings. You could do whatever you want with your bracers personally. I just like the look of these O-rings. It looks like some medieval ass shit in my opinion. But anyway, here we are. We're gonna tape our leather straps with our O-rings down and then we are going to compensate for the curve of your arm, okay? That's why I have the tape there. Once we compensate for that curve that the bracer is gonna naturally make wrapping around your arm, then we're gonna find our holes and then we are going to set those rivets just like that. And then we're gonna do it again, compensate for the curve and set those rivets on the outer side of our bracer, just like that. Perfect. All that's left is to take our buckles on our one side, run them through and set those buckles just like that. Pretty easy stuff, guys. Then all you have to do is punch your relief holes for your buckles to fit around those straps. You can even cut those straps down and make sure they're angled out if you want to. But anyway guys, here is a basic bracer. Next up, I'm going to show you how you would add any sort of hardware, studs, spikes, 
maybe even nails to your bracer, and how to run those buckles inside of your bracer. We're gonna go back to the step where we just have our leather, and we have our craft foam. Then I'm gonna take a pencil and draw out everywhere where I'm gonna put my nails. Personally, I'm gonna be doing nails. You could do your studs, your spikes at this point, but this is where you wanna do it. You want everything to be set between the leather and the foam. And as you can see, I have everything drawn out. And we're gonna go back and poke some holes. Then I'm gonna run my nails through the bracer, just like that. Super easy shit, guys. There we go, we have our nails. We're gonna flip it back over. And as you can see, I have my felt cut out as well. Before I add my felt, I'm actually going to run my buckles through the bracer, just like this. It's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna take our two leather strips, cut them to size, we're gonna add our buckles to one end. If you have our buckles added to one end, we're gonna set our straps like this. You can even use some tape to set everything up. Now we're gonna compensate for the curve of your arm just like we did in the first part. You're just gonna wrap around your arm and just compensate like that. You could even eyeball it like I just did, but personally, I would compensate for the length of your arm. But anyway, here we are. We have our straps ran through and riveted on one side and the other, and now we're going to take our excess leather, we're gonna wrap it over, and then we're going to attach our adhesive felt just like that. There we go, we have our nice little sandwich, and we're gonna go back with some rivets just like that. Everything is riveted on. I kinda speed ran through the last part of that video, but you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Just the same exact steps, but we're just running those buckles inside. And there we go, we have our finished bracers. So here's our finished bracers, guys. Like I said, you can put whatever you want on them. Spikes, studs, I just chose to do nails and these O-rings, but they're pretty easy and you're gonna save a lot of money upcycling secondhand material. Personally, I think that's the coolest part about these bracers. It's upcycling secondhand material and turning something that was nothing into something that you would be proud to wear. Hopefully you guys learned something. I've been doing this DIY shit for about 17 years. And if you like what you just saw, then definitely hit the button down below. And feel free to check out my other DIY tutorials. Until next time, see you later, nerds.